our sponsors, who without their partnership, a night under the stars would not be possible. Their generosity will have a huge impact on the children and families we serve, and we thank them for their incredible support this evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Wes from the Traffic Group. And you know, there's far too much in life that we take for granted each and every day. You know, as an example, we take for granted that we will wake up in the morning and we will drive to and from work safely. We also take for granted that whenever a child is born, he or she will be healthy and live a long and happy life. But you know what? That's not life because life throws us curveballs and we need to be ready to deal with those sad, sad circumstances. It is not easy being a parent who has to deal with a sick child, but the Believe in Tomorrow Foundation does whatever they can to help these parents and families work through these tribulations every single day. A sick child has to be the most horrifying parental experience but we are proud to do a little bit to help these families deal with these incredibly hard conditions. We hope you have a blast tonight and that you can find it in your heart to donate just a little bit each and every month for the Believe in Tomorrow Children's Foundation. My name is Darren Klugman, the Director of Pediatric Cardiac Critical Care at the Johns Hopkins Pediatric and Congenital Heart Center. Our partnership with the Believe in Tomorrow House means so much because together we can take care of patients and their families. Hi, I'm Jeff Elkin, the president of Advanced Business Systems. We're proud to be the official IT solutions provider for Believe in Tomorrow Children's Foundation and to partner with such an amazing organization. Thank you for all that you do and we look forward to supporting your mission for many years to come. At Believe in Tomorrow, random acts of kindness are considered especially remarkable. In our programs, the dedicated volunteers who support our mission are members of an elite squad known as our 2020 Outstanding Volunteers. Here are their stories. Suspect, Tracy McCarthy. Weapon, dangerously delicious dinners. Motive. This PayPal volunteer goes above and beyond to plan exciting and creative themed dinners month after month. Her imaginative ideas wow our families and fulfills our mission by taking one more thing off their already full plates. Her leadership and ability to engage her team to join her efforts is truly inspirational. Her commitment is criminal. Suspect, Katie Swan. Weapon, extreme enthusiasm and killer kindness motive. She not only works for the Johns Hopkins Pediatric Congenital Heart Center, but her heart also belongs to Believe in Tomorrow. From family suppers, to volunteering her time, to in-kind donations, and getting everyone she can to learn about Believe in Tomorrow, her crimes of kindness are too many to convict. Suspects, Sonia Crosby and Rachel Hill. Weapon, ride or die devotion. Motive, these volunteer buds, Frickin' Frack, Cagney and Lacey, Thelma and Louise, partners in crime from the Johns Hopkins Federal Credit Union, are constantly wowing us with their creativity. They have transformed our courtyard at the Children's House, created gorgeous centerpieces, and thoughtfully designed many aspects of our events. From family suppers to bacon cookies and in-kind donations, they have done the time, all while keeping us laughing. Suspects, Mike Nossed and Mark Wachlowski. Weapon, Purple Pride. Motive, Gang members of Raven's Nest 14. Wanted for many years of fundraising. These two extraordinary volunteers organize a yearly golf outing, the funds of which directly support Believe in Tomorrow's hospital and respite housing programs. Both Mike and Mark have broadened our circle of supporters to include many members of their social club, friends, and family. 
Call Crime Stoppers if you see them doing good deeds for Believe in Tomorrow. Suspects, Tim Eccles and Carol Gorsuch. Weapon, fierce fundraising. Motive, this fearless duo packs a one-two punch of volunteer spirit and can-do attitude. They have taken a personal tragedy and with a positive perspective, created a successful annual fundraiser that has opened the door to a new audience and opportunities for Believe in Tomorrow. There's no mystery on how their efforts make a difference for the children and families in our programs. Suspect, Christina Roselle. Weapon, dangerous dedication. Motive, this stylish suspect can be found weekly at the front desk of the children's house supporting our families and generously donating both her time and resources. She is a dedicated advocate for Believe in Tomorrow and is always recruiting additional donations and participation for our events. Her sincerity and warm smile are so special, they should be illegal. We are so thankful she helps our families to believe in tomorrow. Suspect, Michael Wong. Weapon, Grunwald Club. Motive, Michael generously donates his time to secure sponsorships, foursome registrations, and auction items for the Grunwald Club's annual fundraising golf tournament. His drive and follow through truly show how dedicated he is to the children and families we serve. Michael is charged with two counts of giving back and a misdemeanor charge of selflessness. Suspect, Vicky Taransky. Accomplice, her adorable dog, Ollie. Weapon, dog therapy with canine kisses. Motive, this dynamic duo has been entertaining the children and families at the children's house for many years by bringing peace, furry snuggles, and smiles to anyone who meets them. Vicky and Ollie have been dragging their third wheel, her husband Gary, to our events for almost a decade. Vicky's kindness and Ollie's gentle spirit have been capturing our hearts from day one. Congratulations to all. Let's hear it for our 2020 Outstanding Volunteers. When you're in our programs, you're always a part of the Believe in Tomorrow family. Let's take a closer look at a few of our Believe in Tomorrow celebrities and where they are now. Meet Alex. Alex started in our program in 2013. Despite his difficult journey, he always returned from long days at the hospital with the brightest attitude. His dancing and amazing jokes brought so much laughter and even more joy to the children's house at Johns Hopkins. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Alex. I'm eight years old. I'm in second grade. We stayed at the Believe in Tomorrow Children's House a lot over the years. We stayed at the main house and at the long-term apartments in Canton, especially when Alex was battling the battle of leukemia. We loved many things about the Believe in Tomorrow Children's House. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was playing in the Winnie Pooh. And we especially love all the amazing, kind people that helped us during one of our difficult chapters in life. They truly gave us a home away from home where we could heal and focus on all that matters. We love you. We love you. We are so thrilled to report Alex has been done with treatment for over two years and is thriving as a happy and healthy second grader. Next, let's meet Erin. Erin and her family found Believe in Tomorrow in 2001. After her leukemia diagnosis, they were able to take part in our respite program, which offered her family opportunities to relax, heal, and find solace during her difficult battle. We are proud to share that Erin is currently paying it forward, giving back to struggling young women who are also in need of support and kindness. Hi, Believe in Tomorrow. This is Erin Phillips, um, leukemia survivor from 2001. Just wanted to pop in and say hi from Hope, Idaho, um, where I'm living on an organic farm and starting up a wilderness therapy program for young women struggling with mental health, addiction, eating disorders, whatever life um, has thrown at them. And, and it's been really a privilege to to work with these young women and see their resilience and be able to take some of my experience and help them as well. And I'm able to do what I do now because of all the support that I received um, as a kid 
going through struggles and I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of you and to Believe in Tomorrow for believing in our children. Our next Believe in Tomorrow celebrity is Armani. Armani started in our program in 2017, bringing her warm personality and entire family with her. During her stays at the children's house, she took advantage of many of the fun activities that were offered, such as arts and crafts and Ravens games. She also found support among another family who shared in a similar experience. Hello, my name is Armani Raybon and I'm going to tell you how the Believe in Tomorrow House helped me. They gave me a great place to stay during treatment. We stayed there majority of the time since my family and I live very far from the hospital. The Believe in Tomorrow House offers so many variations of activities. It's almost just like a second home. In my opinion, the staff there is great and super supportive. In the end, it's not only a place to stay, but a place where you can feel comfortable and confident. After three surgeries and 33 rounds of radiation, Armani is all grown up and just celebrated her sweet 16. We have watched this resilient young girl blossom into a strong, healthy, and beautiful young lady. For our final celebrity, we meet Tanner. Tanner joined the Believe in Tomorrow family in 1994, right after he was born, and he's returned throughout the years for various treatments. His most recent visit to the children's house at Johns Hopkins was just a few months ago when he arrived with his wife to share a part of his childhood with her. We are so happy to hear how well he's doing today. Hey y'all, my name is Tanner Lures. I'm 26 years old and I live in Dallas, Texas with my wife, Emma. Uh, I was born with bladder extrophy, which essentially means I was born with my bladder on the outside of my body. And naturally requiring a lot of surgeries and recovery, I stayed at the children's house in 94, 95, 97, 99, and 2012. And looking back at the children's house, I can't help but think of how much of a blessing it was for me and my family, and the sense of normalcy that it provided for me and my family. I actually lost my first tooth at the children's house. So I have so many great memories there and I'm so thankful for, for what they've done for my family and they continue to do for so many other families as well. The reasons we are here tonight are the children and families who rely on our programs for support during their fight with critical illness. Here are all the ways you can support them this evening. Purchase food from the food trucks, buy chances to win our raffles, purchase some Believe in Tomorrow apparel, or make a donation by visiting believeintomorrow.org. Another way you can help this evening is by purchasing artwork created by Lisa Vogt. Lisa is a longtime friend, volunteer, and supporter, so be sure to check out her work by the raffle and merchandise tables. Lisa is generously donating all proceeds to Believe in Tomorrow. Thank you for joining us for a night under the stars. So grab your snacks, sit back and relax, and enjoy Clue, the movie.